Hi everyone, this is Mike Schwartz from Glue. I'm demoing today OxPush, which is a new open source two-factor authentication mechanism that we published. And in this demo, I'm going to show how you configure um, Ox to use um, this new type of authentication. So Ox has a, a management um, policy administration point called Ox Trust, and that's what I'm showing you here. It's basically a GUI for our platform. And in the configuration section, um, you can set a default authentication mode. It's sort of like the sledgehammer of authentication modes. It says for use this one first. And I've specified Ox Push. So um, in, in Ox, you can have many types of authentication active at the same time, each with their own business flow or script. In this case, let me show you the Ox Push business logic. And here I'll make it bigger. Um, so OxPush um, is pretty simple to configure. Um, this is the script. Um, you can grab this script from our, our Subversion repository. It's under um, OxAuth server integrations. Um, you can see we have all of our all of the um, open scripts, open source um, two-factor authentications that we've we've done. Um, here's OxPush, and and this is the um, the script. So you just select that and copy it and you'd paste it in here and um, Ox um, needs to know a couple of specific things. It needs to know where's your server. It needs to know the timeout. You can give your application a name. Um, this, this gets popped up in the in the server. Um, this should probably say IDP. Um, and um, then you can also um, provide the download link um, for a um, for iPhone or Android application. In this case, we're just showing the, the Android. Um, note the um, Ox Push application is Cordova, which means that um, you could create a distribution package for iPhone or, or um, Android or Microsoft or um, Blackberry. Um, so that, that's pretty much it on the server side for configuration. Um, let me show you what the user experience is. So I'm going to log out. Now, the um, OxTrust application itself is using OpenID Connect, so it's a good place to show, just give a quick authentication demo. So um, I'm going to log in. Um, I won't show downloading the application. Um, actually, the quickest way to download the app is to try and log in from your phone and then just click on this link and install it. Um, I'm going to show what happens the first time a user goes to a website. Now, let's just say previously I was only using username password, and now I'm going to the website and, and my company's upgraded to two-factor authentication. So I go and I hit, and it says, uh-oh, we don't know what device you have. Um, so I go to my Ox um, push application on my phone, um, and, um, and I, I can scan and say, okay, I have a new site. And I'll scan it. Scan. Oops. Hit that little scan button. And there it goes. Beep. And submit it. And now it now it knows what, what phone I have. Um, and I'll allow it. That's the open ID connect scope authorization which we leave on for demo purposes. Okay, so that was my first login. So on the first login with OxPush, um, the user has installed the app on their phone, and because the, the phone is not associated with that person, uh, on the first login they have to scan that QR code, and then we can grab all the necessary information about the phone, like what kind of phone is it, and the um, device ID, and stuff like that, so we can push to that phone later. On my second login request, um, now that now that... Um, the IDP knows about me. Okay, this is still step one in our case is still username password. And um, step two, and now I get a, a prompt on my phone. My phone beeps. Um, I get a little notification. There's the Cordova guy. It says, okay, you have an authentication request. And um, authentication request basically gives you the, um, the host name and the, um, sorry if you have trouble reading this, um, the host name and the IP address um, of the server that I'm authenticating against. I'll say, yes, that's me. I approve it. And, um, and it takes me through to the next step, which is, in, in our case, the OpenID Connect Scope authorization. Um, 
So that's a quick demo of how it works. Um, the nice thing about Oxpush is that um, it's open source. It's a Cordova app. Um, so you can, the whole, uh, the whole mobile app is just one HTML5 page, so you can customize the look and feel and add your own icon and your own graphics and your own banner or disclaimer or whatever you want to add to the app so you can brand the authentication for, for your organization. But um, that's a quick demo, um, how it worked. Um, hope you like it.